How's it going, gents? Standing in the door, 1944 here. Today we're going to be going over our replica Zones of France escape maps. As always with Standing in the Door 1944, we want to make the most historically accurate reproduction that we possibly can. And to do that, we actually got our hands on an original map. So the original map uh, that was used for this project was actually jumped in by a second lieutenant in the 82nd Airborne into Normandy. Uh, and so whenever we had access to that map, we weren't only able to get a high quality scan of it, so we were able to get all the individual details, you know, being able to actually read this map, but also we were able to understand the feel of this map to see what the material was actually made out of. And that was actually our first complication with the project. A lot of people think that these maps were printed on silk. They weren't printed on silk. We were at war with Japan. We didn't have access to silk. That's why most of our parachutes were being made out of nylon, especially after 1941. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, they had to go to with a different type of fabric. So what they settled on was an acetate rayon. Problem is, is acetate rayon is not made anymore. Uh, so I had to go about and try and find a, a fabric that actually matched the look and the feel and even the opacity of the original fabric. I actually went and started blending uh, different amounts of cotton and silk together and doing different prints. I finally came across one that was just the right weight, has just the right opacity, and has the exact same feel as the original. And then we were able to take our high definition scan that we have and actually do a direct print onto the actual fabric itself the same way that they were able to do during World War II. So this is our version one of the Zones of France map, and it is a one-for-one one match. The colors from the original are directly transferred from one to the other. My print guys did an absolutely wonderful job on this. We also have the version two style here. And as you can see, it does have a bit more of a contrast to it. The blues are really blue in it, uh, and you're just getting a little bit of different colors that I felt went a little bit too far uh, from the original. Uh, but because I went through and I had, you know, several thousands of these maps made, uh, they printed those incorrectly but still charged me for them. <laughs> uh, but we were able to take those and basically offer a more cost-effective option for those that are still wanting uh, a really accurate Zones of France map, uh, but, uh, but wanting to save a little bit of money. For these escape kit maps, you see a number of photographs from Normandy where paratroopers, they were actually taking these and actually rolling these up and tying them around their necks like scarves. Uh, so that was something that was definitely done. Not everybody did it. Don't everybody in your unit do it. You know, just a couple guys is a really good option. Uh, but another thing that they were doing with these escape kits is they were taking and actually sewing these into the lining of their jackets. They would sew them into the lining of their pants. So if you're wanting to just kind of take your impression to the next level, that's going to be a really cool option uh, to, to have a part of your uniform. Mm -hmm. 